What's bubblegum popping? So good. Hey y'all, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, just stopping by. Don't forget to give this video a nurse the thumbs up. Before you leave and I ride, don't be bangy. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you too can be a part of the effort to gang. And if you're already gang, <laughs> welcome back. Alright y'all, so today I am doing a nice traditional seafood boil. I have some Dungeness crab, sausage, corn, potato, egg, and I think that's it. And I have some eating pretty sauce right here. I'm just sipping on some watermelon vitamin water. <sighs> so good. So I'm going to go ahead and say grace and get started. I'm so hungry, y'all. Hey, man. I'm going to start off with a sausage. Ooh, yeah, see that? They got my drip sauce on top. Mm. Yeah, potato. Mm. Mm. It's really good, y'all. For everything to fall down. <clears throat> you know, my food can be real fake. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> Dang, they gotta see me cry last night. What for? <laughs> How y'all doing today on this lovely Thursday? Y'all tomorrow is good Friday. I'm so happy, so happy. I do have a story time today. Mm. But I do want to eat. Because I haven't done anything today. I haven't eaten anything today. But I've done a lot today. I had to run errands. I was able to release a vlog on my vlog channel, y'all. Mm. It's been like a week and a half since I posted anything. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and show some love to my vlog channel, Ryan So Banji. So Yo, love that. <laughs> and ooh, I don't know if y'all follow me on um, Instagram, Snapchat. But I did do this um, summer sangria recipe that I found on Tipsy Bartender. And I was dying to try it, y'all. Finally did it. Hung up with my sister. Hung out with my sister yesterday. Mm. And I thought that was a perfect opportunity to make it. So, Mm. Oh, drip announcement. For everybody that purchased their drip sauce, once again, thank you so much for your love and support. Yo, I finally received the boxes from USPS. They came in this morning. My plans was to do the sauces by Tuesday that just passed. Mm. So over the weekend, I will be pre preparing y'all sauces and I'll be sending everybody's out Monday. This Monday coming. And with the shipping, you guys paid for two to three day shipping. So you will be getting your sauce in the middle of the week. So go ahead. And purchase your seafood. Go ahead and get your steak and your chicken ready. Because <laughs> your sauce will be there next week. 
Again, thank y'all so much for the support. I'm ready to deliver. And be zine and zine with that. These crab legs are bomb. Mm. You know, the neighbors say so loud. Mm. Oh, I was hoping this wasn't my last potato. Oh, y'all want a bite? Mm. Mm. So good, y'all. Okay. Let me get story time. But hang on. Bear with me. Oh, y'all just don't understand. I'm sorry. Bear with me now. Bear with me. Don't be banter. Don't do that. Oh, there we go. Everything want to fall. This corn tastes like candy. Like, that fresh corn be so sweet. Mm. All right, y'all. Story time. I'm gonna move this back. It's gonna fall all down and whatnot. Mm mm, Snapchat. That's Justin. Justin. And not while I'm filming. And not while I'm filming. <laughs> okay, um. So, I've been watching Aretha Franklin show. They're on National Ge Geographic. Mm. And for those that don't have paid television, cable, so like, you can find it on Hulu. So, anyway, you really get the tea on her life. You know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because I was talking on the phone last night as I was watching it. And I said, damn. It seemed like all of the female singers from like the 60s, 70s, even the 80s, hell, they dealing with it now, but it seemed like everybody dealt with the same thing, like growing up in the church singing. Yeah, you got this father that's a pastor, whatever the case may be. He end up cheating on your mom or their mom. I'm talking about your mom, sorry. Their mom and the mom end up leaving, so the dad raising them, and then when they get older, they meet a man. And they allow whatever from the man because that's what they seen in their household. You know, same old song, right? Now, at the age of 12, mm, 
she was traveling at a young age with the with the church. Uh, her dad. You know, that was like her partner in crime. Or she was his partner in crime. And um he used to get drunk every Saturday with a new chick. You bet the juke joint. Whatever. So one day, when he was drunk, and he was, you know, with some little floozy from the church, he asked Aretha to stay in the hotel, don't go anywhere. So, just like a fast little child, she snuck out, went to this, like, bar. I guess she was trying to look for her daddy. She went to a bar. Everybody know exactly who she was. She was like that little girl with the huge voice. And again, these people are from the church. Like, they knew exactly who she was. So she went out and some little old creep gave her some alcohol and her drink this sweet is sweet. Yeah, you looking good. You looking beautiful. You know, just being a natural born creep. So anyway, this younger boy snatched her up and like, man, you know, back off. Gave us some water, asked her to dance. Four months later, her stomach hurt. She told her grandma that she haven't been, she haven't had her monthly. It's been four months since she had a monthly. Long story short, she was a teen mom at the age of like 13. But that's not a short time. I said that because it reminded me of when I was young and was trying to be fast, y'all. So, I have a total of seven sisters. All beautiful women, right? When I was younger, like a preteen, I used to ride my bike around the neighborhood. You know, back in the day, you could do that. Like, you didn't have to worry about nobody snatching you up. Well, really snatching you up. Like, it wasn't too common like it is now. Because, you know, you, you can't have your turn go nowhere and play. But anyway, run my bike around, and I used to see like a lot, of, a lot of dope boys. So hold on. <clears throat> so of course I used to stop my bike and you know, be in adults' face faces, which I was raised not to do. But I did. Me and my friends. But I had a hidden agenda. So I used to go over there every day. You know, they'd give us money. You're going to get us some snacks. From the store. But honestly, it was like. They did that to get us out of their face. <laughs> now that I think about it. Now that I'm an adult. It makes sense. So anyway. <clears throat> I used to sit there and think. What can I do to keep me over there, like around those dudes? I brought them pictures of my sisters. Now I say them because this happened more than once, but this time it's just one in particular. So I showed him a picture of my sister. All right, and she fine, you know what, what she got man? No. So every day I used to go to this man's house, right? I used to go to this man's house every day. But he was more interested in where my sister was, you know, when your sister would be available, what time did she come home, what time she got work, whatever, whatever. So, I done. So I guess as time went by, it was kind of weird for him. So now he never was like, home or whenever he was home 
Yeah, but like, not today, y'all. Y'all go and have fun. Here's some money going to the store. You know, whatever. So he started coming to my house and be like, your sister home? Your sister home? I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, she ain't home. <laughs> kind of sitting right down the driveway. She ain't home, bro. So, anyway, one day, right around the neighborhood, stopped by his house just to speak. And we were just talking, whatever. So he was like, hey, come and ride with me. I was like, come and ride with you? Mm -mm. He was like, no, come and ride with me. I'm about to go to Walmart. It's only like a few minutes away. Now, my y'all, Walmart, now that I'm an adult, I know Walmart was at least 20 minutes away. I was like, no, it's getting dark. I need to go home. He said, it'll just be a minute. And he grabbed me. And he told me to get in the car. Yo. Just how I used to get away from my brother when he used to bully me. I kicked that man straight in the jewels. Left my bike and ran. I never seen that man again. And I'm just think about it, you know. I was young being grown. You know what I'm saying? God knows what would have happened. If I was too grown and not so scary. Because I used to just, you know, basically toot my behind out. And then when somebody tried me, I used to get like real scared. Y'all watch y'all turn. Watch your kids. Watch your turn. Please. Because that would have went so bad. And then it was like, you know, it kind of woke me up when I was watching Aretha, Aretha's story. And I'm just like, damn. She was just young and naive. I knew to kick the dang old man in the jewels. I'm sweating, y'all. I'm so hot. These lights are hot. <laughs> and no, this is not an April Fool's prank, y'all. Honestly, I forgot about April Fool's. I don't even like to. I don't even like for anybody to talk to me on the first of April. <laughs> Excuse me. This is not an April Fool's joke, child. But these crabs are delicious. I mean, I got one, one cluster and one lid. Mm. Look good. Mm. Yeah, my camera get ready to shut down. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, okay? And don't be sad. All right. Who else got? All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a nice thumbs up. Before you leave, and don't be patient. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you too can be a part of the FC game. Don't forget to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel, Ryan. So banging. Thank y'all so much for y'all love and support. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>